we find the area of this square when the only information given to us is the diameter of this uh, semicircle? Yes, it is easy, okay? But you just have to apply one theorem that will give you the answer. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are asked to find the area of this square. Now first, this square is not drawn to scale. And these semicircles are supposed to be, they were supposed to be equal, okay? But because it's a freehand sketch, I couldn't get all of them to be equal. But know that they are all equal, they are all equal, okay? So it means that their diameters are equal as well, okay? Now, back to the question, we are asked to find the area of the square. First of all, area of a square is equal to length squared. So it simply means that if we can get the length of one side of this particular square, we are going to square the, the length to get the area of the square. Okay? So <laughs> that is where the main thing is. That is where the problem lies. How do we get the length of the square? All right, there is a theorem that is going to help us to get this. Remember this theorem that states that when two circles meet each other externally or internally, okay? Now I'm going to use external because these two, they meet each other externally, okay? And this happens to be the center of this circle. When you join the two centers, to, with a straight line they are going to the straight line will pass through their point of contact in other words when two circles meet each other externally or internally their, mid, their midpoint and the point of contact lies on a straight line that is the summary of this theorem so how does that concern us yes that particular theorem is the only savior we have. Without that, it will be difficult for us to find the area of this square. All right, now let's assume this to be the center of this circle and assume this to be the center of this semicircle as well. So using this theorem, if I join these two together, okay, it will pass through their midpoint. Now remember that when you draw a straight line from the center of a circle to any part of the circumference, you have the radius, right? So if this is a circle and this is the center, from here to this circumference is the radius, this is the radius, this is the radius, this is the radius, this is the radius, and they are equal, okay? And radius is equal to the diameter of the circle divided by 2. Now, we already know that the diameter of this semicircle is 2. So it means that the radius is 2 divided by 2, which will give us 1. Okay? Now, it means that from here to here is 1, because this is the radius of this circle. And also from here to here is 1. It is also the radius of this circle. Please hit your subscription button and turn your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. And I want to say in a special way, congratulations to us because we have crossed, we have surpassed the 100,000 subscribers threshold. So all things being equal, if things work out the way they should, our silver play button will soon be here. Okay, so congratulations to all of us. And I want to uh, thank you all for your support so far. And you all have been amazing. Thank you. All right, now I want you to note that this is right angle triangle. This is right angle, this is right angle, and this is right angle, being that this is a square, okay? And if that is the truth, that means that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, okay? Triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, so we have this, this, and this. So this is B, this is C, this is A. So here will be 1 plus 1, which is 2. 
from here to here is the radius right which is one as well now a b is unknown now because this is a special type of triangle called the right angle triangle we can find the value of a b using the pythagorean theorem so using the pythagorean theorem We can see that in a right angle triangle, if this is the if the hypotenuse is termed A, that is the longest side of the triangle is A, this is B and this is C, the hypotenuse is always the longest and the one facing the right angle, this. So according to Pythagorean theorem, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. Okay? So if we compare this to this, it means that 2 squared should be equal to 1 squared plus AB squared. So 2 squared is 4, is equal to 1 squared is 1 plus AB squared. Now if we transfer this to this, we have 4 minus 1 is equal to AB squared. 4 minus 1 is 3, so we have 3 is equal to AB squared. So to get AB, we take square root of both sides. Okay? So if we take square root of both sides, we have that square root of 3 is equal to square root of AB squared. Now remember, the square root of a squared is equal to a. Then square root of 3 is plus or minus root 3. But being that this is a, we are talking about length, okay? A, B is a length, we can see it. So it cannot be negative. The answer cannot be negative. So it means that we still have root 3. The positive root 3 is equal to, now to remove the square root sign, and we have AB. So it means that AB is equal to 3. Now, how does this help us? <laughs> okay. Yes, it's, it's our savior, actually. So if AB is root 3, let me turn this side so I see clearly what I'm about to say. If AB is root 3, now from here to A is going to be 1. Yes. That is because from here to here is the radius of this semicircle, which is equal to 1. So it means that the length of one side of this square will be what? 1 plus root 3. So the length is 1 plus root 3. And remember that the area is length squared. So the area will be 1 plus root 3 squared, okay? Now remember that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this will be 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by root 3 plus root 3 squared. So the area will be 1 squared, which is 1, plus 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3, plus, now this we remove this, we have 3. So the area will be 1 plus 3, which is 4, plus 2 root 3. Now the area is let's make use of our calculator so we have two okay first of all let's get root three square root of three is 1.732 so two multiplied by 1.732 will give us 3.464 if i'm correct this should be 3.464 which means that the area is 7.5 approximately square units. 
okay thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye